We've covered many roller coaster incidents on our channel so far. Thus, we're used to hearing about people getting ejected from their seats while a roller coaster is in motion, leading to terrifying fatalities and injuries. In other incidents, people get hit by flying objects while on the ride or on the ground waiting in line, which is totally crazy in itself. We're even used to hearing about people getting killed while wandering on or crossing roller coaster tracks or standing right below inverted coasters and getting hammered on the head by a rider's foot or, or plates at the bottom of carts. There are also many roller coaster incidents that we don't cover, such as the ones during which riders with heart or other medical conditions die or get strokes amongst other injuries due to the immense g-force or shock that these coasters produce in the bodies of our riders. But today, we're about to shock you with a very rare type of theme park incident that took place at French Futuroscope Theme Park just recently when one of the famous Mission to Mars roller coasters caught on fire. as it was ready to take off, causing injuries to two female riders. Before we get into the horror story, let's take a look at the park and the ride involved because the French are quite fanatical about their theme parks and they do have unique rides. The incident took place at Futuroscope Amusement Park. Or in French, Parc du Futuroscope, which used to be called Planète or Planet Futuroscope. It's a very interesting and unique theme park based on multimedia, cinematographic futurism, and audiovisual techniques. In addition to many awesome thrilling rides, it also features quite cool three-dimensional cinemas and a few crazy four-dimensional cinemas. We don't even really know what that is. I guess in France, anything goes. Most of their rides are themed to represent the world, and some are themed to represent planets and outer space. The French really aced it with this neo-futuristic park because it is just as thrilling and fun as regular parks, but it's also really educational. If you're lucky enough to live in the EU and decide to head there, all you gotta do is catch the train to the department of Vienne in Novelle Aquatine, France. Just make sure that you don't end up in Vienna, the capital of Austria, even though we know for a fact that they also got crazy theme parks. The park is also very popular and it has 2 million visitors in 2022 alone. In total, more than 55 million visitors have been to the park since it opened in 1987. So they're definitely doing something right there because that is a very decent number of visitors. Okay, so let's inspect the ride which is called, in French, Objectif Mars, but we'll use the English version which is called Mission Mars. It is a one-of-a-kind steel multi-launched spinning coaster that combines elements of a dark ride and educational technology in order to simulate a unique training session and mission to Mars. In a nutshell, carts spin as the coaster moves quite fast and since a large section of it is indoors, there are massive screens amongst other multimedia effects all around, which make the rider feel like they are astronauts leaving Earth and heading to Mars, which is quite awesome. It's also designed to accommodate children as young as 5 years old, provided that they meet the 43 inches height requirement. It's been operating since 2020, but it didn't shine until after COVID crisis began to subside in 2021. It has a maximum speed of 34 miles per hour, which is real fast taking into consideration that it has no serious dips. Even though the track is 1,640 feet long, a good section of it is located in a massive circular structure that houses mainly the queue, station, transfer track, drop track, and the colorful dark ride portion. Friday, April 17, 2023 was a fine day for park goers at Futuroscope. The weather was nicer than usual for that time of the year, and the park was more crowded than usual early in the morning. Just before 10.30 a.m., children and the young at heart were Pouring into the 20,000-foot structure that hosts the queue, station, and dark section of the Mission Mars coaster. As people filled the train's carts and buckled up their seats, excitement filled the atmosphere. However, mere seconds before the train took off, something terrifying happened, and it nearly resulted in a disastrous event and absolutely fatalities. At exactly 10.30 a.m., a fire suddenly broke out below cart number two. The smoke appeared rather suddenly, and there was no warning that something below the cart was malfunctioning. The smoke began to fill the place very fast, and four feet high flames appeared from below and suddenly began to engulf the cart where two young female patrons were sitting. Call it a miracle or a sheer luck, but that exact moment, two staff members were standing very close to that particular cart, and right behind them on the wall of the station sat fire extinguishers. So, the two staff members acted very quickly and wisely, and they immediately began extinguishing the fire, even though they weren't sure where the flames originated. Other riders and people in line began screaming that the fire was coming from below the cart. And even though the fire was quickly put out, thick smoke continued to fill the place for a couple of more minutes. It was a very horrific scene. The moment that riders saw the smoke, they began screaming and yelling for help. Luckily, this sudden and loud mass screaming prevented the operator from pressing the start button. 
It was a truly horrific disaster in the making, but was prevented at the last second because if the fire started mere seconds after the roller coaster took off, the wind and speed would have caused the fire to grow extremely fast and torch the riders as they sat helplessly in their seats. The whole train would have become a flamethrower firing backward at the patrons in the train. One can only imagine how the two young women who were sitting in the cart right above where the fire started felt. Unfortunately, they sustained injuries. One sustained burns to her neck and ear and the other to her chin. So far, investigators concluded that the fire was caused by a lithium battery situated under the second carriage. However, the investigation was still ongoing to figure out what exactly caused the large lithium battery to burn and nearly caused a major disaster. The park's management announced immediately that the ride was closed until investigators could complete their work, and has also been denied negligence. You're now probably curious why a roller coaster cart has a lithium battery below it. Well, the answer has to do with the fact that the spinning roller coasters have carts that are equipped with motors that are used to make the carts rotate, hence the name spinning roller coaster. These motors are usually very safe and very effective in design, and they're also powered by large lithium batteries that are recharged daily during maintenance hours. Generally speaking, such batteries explode or suddenly catch fire due to reasons such as overheating, being punctured, or an electrical fault like a short circuit. Things at the park should check for daily to make sure that the, you know, patrons don't get caught on fire. If such batteries catch fire while charging, then it could be blamed on the manufacturer defect. However, in today's incident, the battery wasn't new and it caught fire while unplugged. This means that it's going to be real hard for the park to pin the cause in the manufacturer of the ride, the Swiss company Intamin. Are you from France? Do you know what happened to the two women who were injured? Have they been compensated by the park? And what do you think happened? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified every time that we upload a new video that'll take you to the heart of scenes and mysteries from some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, backcidents, disasters, and paranormal events from around the world.